Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from Board of Studies portal. Our attempt is to be doing each and every type of question, whether it is a case study based or a standalone question from the modules. Uh, two things before I'll be starting. In case you require any help, then our telegram ID is there at the rate HNX. You can write to us for any confusions or anything that you might have in mind. Second thing, uh, our complete course is there for you all to be enrolling. Link is there in the description. The moment you enroll, automatically lectures start. And just one more news for CA Inter guys, we will shortly be coming up with entire course of hosting of CA Inter on our YouTube channel. Complete course, the soft copy, test that I conduct. All these are ensured basically for two reasons. First, that you get the highest marks. I concentrate like, you know, uh, always that a student in costing should be getting say 90 plus. So therefore it becomes like, you know, very easy for the other subjects also. Second, you have the best contents. Marks are like, you know, you have the best concepts. Marks are byproduct of your conceptual knowledge. And that is whatever I have done in last 23 years or so of my career. So let's start off the question for today. Our chapter is Lean Systems and Innovations. And this question is all about just in time. A company wants to implement just in time for both procurement and production. Just before I continue, what do you mean by just in time procurement? It means that I will purchase the raw material not for stocking, but only for consuming. Whenever I will produce, I require materials. I will not keep material with me. I will order right on time. That is called as just in time. Then there is another aspect also just in production. That is you do not produce the goods for storage. You only try to produce the goods whenever the order comes from the customer. These are actually part of something called as pull supply chain, whereby whenever the things are required, only at that time you will try to procure them or produce them. Which one would not be required for critical success factors required to be met in order to ensure success of GIT projects. Okay. So which one of them is not a CSF? You have to try to say for GIT, which one of them is not the CSF? CSF means objective. Okay. So like, you know, for a GIT project to get implemented, what is not your objective? Okay. So bring, bring me the four options, please. Four options, accuracy of demand production and close links with the suppliers for steady supply of raw material. Now, I think for just in time, no, two things that are required and exactly those two things are written over here. First, see, you are going to be producing as in when customer will order. So therefore, you should be able to predict the demand. So therefore, you can start to manufacture whenever the demand is about to be coming. That is one point. Second point, whenever you will produce, you will require the material. So therefore, you should be in close connection with the supplier. So therefore, they can send the material the moment you will need them. Okay, this is point number one. It's correct. Okay, this is one of the objectives. Agile production lines that are flexible to meet the change in demand. See, you all should understand that under GIT system, we try to respond based upon the demands. We will be producing whenever there will be a demand from the customer. So therefore, your production lines have to be flexible. Flexible will uh, mean what? Tomorrow, if a machine has to be operating at a level of 400 units, it should be able to. Tomorrow, if the same machine has to be producing 700 units, it should be able to. So therefore, that is whatever is meant by the term. It should be flexible. This is a requirement of GST, of uh, GIT, whereby we try to be thinking our machines, our system should be such which is flexible to the needs of the market that is there. So therefore, the moment the order comes, you should be able to manufacture whatever the demand is. Okay. So point number two is also part of the objectives. Third one. Low setup time and cost each time there is change in the production line. See, what does this thing mean? Before you start the productions, machines have to be set up. Now under GIT, no, machines are set up multiple times whenever the order comes. So you have to be ensuring that your setup cost is least. Okay. You have to ensure this particular thing. Okay. And see, uh, over here, I will not set up the machines once and keep on producing because if I'll be doing that automatically, there'll be huge stock. And GIT is against this funda only of producing like, you know, high amount of stock because that leads 
to wastages, then obsolescence up and so on. So therefore, point number three is also correct only. Point number four, have sufficient storage space to keep excess inventory. Now, this cannot be the thing under GIT. GIT, in fact, believes that we do not require storage space only. Might be very little for intermediate storage, but nothing much. Why? Because we will only produce whenever the demand comes. So, therefore, no finished goods uh, storage is required. And we will only order the raw materials whenever the demand, uh, sorry, whenever the production has to take place. So, therefore, why there should be a need? to be keeping raw material stock also. So therefore, fourth is not the objective under the GIT system. Okay. So question had asked me this only, which is not a CSF. So therefore, fourth point is not the correct point. That cannot be the objective under the GIT systems. Okay. This is the explanation of the institute in case you want to be going through. So I guess answer should be fourth over here. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one. Just before I wind off, this is the QR code for the MCQs of the module, which are already there on our YouTube channel. You can scan this and you will be redirected over there. Okay. I'll see you all now in the next lecture. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye. And just one small request. Try to spread these videos to all those people who need it. Thank you. Bye.